Although markets have been shocked by a virus right at the start of metal rap year and there are speculations now that this might be the trigger to a rumored upcoming recession, as long as you're holding cash and being more mindful of your spending, as well as making sure you have at least more than one source of income so keep working on that hustle, don't worry too much about it. The following 9 feng shui tips for money and wealth in 2020 can also help keep attracting positive vibes, be more resilient, and continue having that abundance mindset regardless of whatever's happening out there beyond our own control. Feng shui tip for wealth number 1. Avoid keeping a turtle as pet or giving it as a gift. Other tortoise or turtle generally symbolizes longevity, and there's less drama involved in taking care of it as a pet it's since they might actually live longer than us and we won't want to see it die. It's not advisable to keep a turtle, either an actual pet or artwork or decor, both in your home as well as near your workspace, else either your career progression or business will slow down and your general fortune will slow down too, mimicking the turtle's movement. It's highly not advisable to give this as a gift to someone as well, because it's actually viewed as an insult especially by the Chinese community. Since pets in general can actually be considered good feng shui because they help circulate good energy in your home, you might want to consider having a cat instead, which is also great for financial luck, or a dog if you're feeling stagnant or lethargic and need some energy boost. Turtle can be placed at the back of your home though, especially if it's at the north, to not only protect your home from negative chi in the north, but also serve as added support especially if the area behind your home is downward sloping. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 2. Never put a mirror either right across or on your work desk. Aside from reflecting light and dispersing chi or energy around a room, mirrors tend to multiply things. So if a mirror is facing your desk in the office, you will feel like your workload doubles over time and you might be even required to work overtime too. And if your desk is located in the south part of your office or home, if you work from home, all the more you shouldn't put a mirror here or any other water element in this area because the two black star or illness star is flying in the south this year and doing so might cause you to feel more stressed out and high risk of getting sick. Some of us might have a quirk of putting a mirror on our work desk so we can easily check how we look during the day. But if that mirror also reflects envelopes of bills for instance, or work colleagues gossiping, or constantly makes us feel how stressed out we look instead of helping us feel pretty and inspiring us, it's best to hide that personal mirror in a bag or drawer instead whenever not in use. The only exception to this rule is if your work desk isn't located near the south and you're working in a concierge for instance or running some type of service business and either you or your employees need to interact with guests often. As long as it's facing a large lobby or nice nature scenery outdoors, having a mirror facing the guests you welcome and interact with not only has a tendency of even doubling those potential and actual customers over time and great for your business, it's also a nice tactic in the service industry to make the customers become more aware of themselves especially if they have a tendency to be rude. Mirrors strategically placed here can disperse away any negative energy those rude customers might bring so it protects you and your employees. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 3. Avoid sitting while facing north at work. You can sit and work at the north part of your home or office but face south instead for instance. Aside from facing north being a taboo among Chinese in general, since it can invite misfortune in your family, that's why they avoid having their homes facing north, and also their maps often point to south instead. Tai Sui or the Grand Duke is at the north during this year of the Rat 2020. It doesn't matter even if your koa number says north is your lucky direction. We need to avoid facing north while working this year and risk clashing with him, most especially those who were born under the year of the horse. Roosters and rabbits can experience the side effects of any conflicts with Tai Sui too, all the rats should pay respects to Tai Sui. Horses, roosters, rabbits, and rats can protect themselves by carrying a Tai Sui coin with them or wearing a Piao bracelet. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 4. Try using an oval-shaped desk. If you're closely working with a team in person or your work area or desk is located to the north, you can encourage cooperation and minimize the effects of the three blue star or quarrelsome star flying in the north as well as by 
having a round or oval shaped desk and incorporating other items belonging to the metal elements such as white paint and decors. Using an oval shaped desk too makes us more flexible in changing our seat and which direction we face so if ever you find yourself currently facing north, you can easily adjust your position face somewhere else instead. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 5. Avoid doing major business and other important activities in the east. I'm not referring to trying to hear or being biased against them. I'm referring to the east part of your home or office. Avoid placing your work desk and doing other important activities like negotiating a deal or even planning a new business in the east part of your home or office because the 5 yellow star or misfortune star is flying in this direction. Keep this area quiet as much as possible to avoid holding parties or meetings in this area and also avoid activating the area with yellow or red objects and other things under the earth and fire elements. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 6. Put lucky plants like jade plant and money tree in your wealth corner. The wealth corner of your home and office is at the southeast. Since the wealth corner is associated with the wood element and the 6 white star or victory star that flies here now in 2020 belongs to the metal element, which clashes and neutralizes the wood element. It's best to put more lucky plants in this area such as the jade plant with leaves shaped like coins since they are believed to attract wealth, as well as the money tree to attract more prosperity and abundance to your life. If you are too busy and you want another kind of plant that requires less attention, you can try having golden pothos instead, which is very low maintenance. Aside from purifying the air and removing carbon monoxide, especially if your parking space is near or at the southeast part of your home or office, it absorbs any stagnant energy in your wealth corner and revitalizes that area. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 7. Invest on an ergonomic work chair and try to always have a solid wall behind you. This is also known as the command position. Another term for command position is the armchair position, where you have a solid backing and not in a position of being surprised from behind, while your arms are supported on both sides, and at the same time having visual control over your workspace. Being in this position gives you a greater degree of control over your career or business endeavors. Aside from the practical benefits of having a comfortable chair while you work without anyone suddenly barging in and distracting you from behind, Having a solid wall at the back and being in this command position also subconsciously boosts your image and stability, which enhance your credibility and authority. Avoid having windows, doorways, and mirrors behind you, except if, as mentioned earlier, you're working in a concert or some other service-related work, else your audience, client, or boss will often get distracted and not focus much on you or not even notice you at all. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 8. Put a vision board or other highly inspiring visuals in the northwest part of your working space. The 8 white star or prosperity star is flying northwest in 2020. So aside from cultivating the usual wealth area in the southeast part of your home and office, you can also add inspiring objects or visuals that help constantly remind you to be in a state of gratitude and abundance. You may use the traditional money tree or wealth jar here too, but to be more effective, it's best to use items or images that have a strong personal connection to you and at the same time symbolize abundance such as your own vision board if you have one or planning to make one, I will create a video about it soon, or a gratitude journal. Feng Shui tip for wealth number 9. Separate work or business life from personal life. Aside from the obvious privacy reasons, if you're working from home for instance or you have a home office for your business, it's best that your work area is separate from the rest of the house either with an actual door or if that area is part of a larger space, put a divider instead like a screen, cabinet, different light setup, or an area rug. With a 9 purple star or multiplicative star flying in the west this year, though it's both ideal to sleep and also have your main work area in the west part of your home now, it's best to have an actual dedicated space for work and not mix the two. So that means never work on your bed. Also, dress well for work, don't wear pajamas and sweatshirts even if you're working from home and nobody can see you. Be mindful not only when it comes to hygiene and health but also with your appearance as well to enhance your personal chi while you work. What feng shui wealth tip or money cure have worked for you? Let us know down in the comments below. If you like this video or find it helpful, share it to others so they may benefit too and also press that thumbs up. If you're new in this channel as well, kindly consider subscribing. We upload a new video every week or so but to make sure not to miss an upload, you may also click the notification bell icon. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.